Hey everybody, this is Grace, and in this video I'm going to talk about people who have this really irritating habit. Now, it is a habit I have not seen much in my lifetime at all. In fact, I think the, the first time I ever saw it was about 10 years ago, maybe 10 years ago. And it was in a mother and her daughter, and her daughter was around my, around my age. So I think maybe a year or so older, not by much. And this, this bad behavior makes the person or people kind of toxic. It's um, something about their personality. I didn't spend enough time around any of them to really see what would go from there, but just the, the small amount of time I would spend around or involved, or not even involved, you know, in some kind of transaction like a, a um, a place of business it would make it so frustrating so irritating and I would leave just like practically shaking because it would be so frustrating so annoying okay I think I think what the biggest part of it would be is that it puts a it can put a person on the defensive then what happens is say I, one of them was a, a mother and daughter team that worked at a doctor's office and the, the mother was, you know, the daughter was, like I said, my, around my age. And they would, um, they both did this. Like, I would say something, uh, like, I want to make an appointment, you know. And the either one of them would think I had said something totally different. And then they would move to do whatever it is they thought that I said. Does that make sense? Okay, and this would be constant. It would be everything that I would say. Either one of them would, would make up their mind of what I was saying. It was whether it was in person, over the phone. It did not matter. They would constantly do that. And I gathered, the last time I ever spoke to the either one of them, I gathered it was the uh, daughter that was my age. I got it that she really enjoyed doing that. And she did it on purpose. I don't know if she just did it to me or what. But it was both her mother and her, her, and her mother, like I said. And um, the, what had happened was I had finally gotten tired of it. I had called to make, either make an appointment or something. And she's, she was going off and doing that, going down a different road. Constant, you know, the whole phone, phone conversation. It was in something important that I needed to do. I don't remember what it was. And finally, I said, look, I said, you're obviously not listen, listening. I want to speak to the doctor right now. And I was mad. And she laughed, you know, she had that kind of laugh. Okay. But anyway, that's what basically what the, they would do is no matter what I would say, they would take it down some other road, you know, never right to the point. Like, a, like I said, anything. I want to make an appointment. They'd start talking about something else. <laughs> totally something else. Like as if I said it. Now, the reason it's on my mind is because the other day I had the same thing happen. Not at a, not at a doctor's office, not at the same kind of business at all. And this is that was the only time this ever happened to me in my life, so I know it's not me. <laughs> but I, it was a man this time, and he was around my age. And I asked the question in person now several different ways to try to get, you know, not several, but I'd say a couple, two or three, I don't know. And he could not, it was like total disconnect. You know, he could not get what I was asking. There was no, there was no kind of cultural or language barrier. He looked, he appeared to be the same like me, white Texan, you know. I don't like to use the term white, but you get it. Anyway, there was, there was no, there was no reason we should have had so much disconnect as, as we did. And I think he, I think he enjoyed it. I think that that's what he liked to do to people. You know, and totally down a different road. So finally, I just gave up and walked off. <laughs> Said, Forget it, you know. But anyway, if you've had any kind of experience like that, and if you know of what it's associated with, let me know. Okay, in the comment section below. And um, also, if you want to subscribe, there's a circle with a little sunset in it. I'll click on that. And if you want to watch another video, uh, there should be one in a rectangle. Anyway, that's enough of this for now. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.